talk about inconvenience. I'm going to check to see how much you are willing to inconvenience yourself for me. This is very twisted. I'm gauging how much you like me, that you will put aside what your needs are, what your wants are, what your desires are, what's important to you to be there for me. And the more you inconvenience yourself for me, the more my power grows and the more I'm able to recognize my power. Because as I continue to see you increasingly inconvenience yourself, I realize I have increasing amounts of control over you. And what do I do with that increasing amounts of control? I take advantage of you. Would be an example of, let's say he uh, wants money from you and he knows that you can't say no to him when he asks for money. So one day he says, yo, can I um, just borrow $50 from you? I just got, I just got to pay for this one thing. To, to get this down and uh you know i, I want to go to the store and grab this thing from the store but i need like 50 dollars and i get paid next week so you give him the 50 dollars and then another time he comes to you yo i'm just trying to i'm trying to cop these new jordans and these new jordans come out literally tomorrow and i gotta go wait in the line in order to get them on the first day but if i don't get them on the first day they won't be available yo you think you could just slide me like 250 like i'm j i'm just about to go get those jordans y'all you know i really wanted those jordans some 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 light you know what i mean but i don't get paid and i gotta go in the line i gotta wait tomorrow and so you slide them 250. And then one day he's talking about i'm trying to get that ps5 yo i'm yo that PS5 looking crazy, but yo, you don't got no links on that PS. Yo, you couldn't get me that PS, right? Or he starts asking you, yo, can I, you think I could borrow your car? I know you got work. Maybe I could borrow your car while you at work and I could just take you to work and I could take your car and I could go drive it somewhere. And slowly but surely, the inconveniences will begin escalating and he's slowly but surely testing how far are you willing to inconvenience yourself for me? I always tell you all, do nothing for men and they'll actually like you more. Do nothing for men and they'll be more fascinated by you. Do nothing for men and they'll be more interested in you. The moment you start thinking, how am I gonna do more for him? How am I gonna inconvenience myself more to be with him and show him that I'm the wife for him and I'm the one that he wants to be with, they will only recognize that as you inconveniencing yourself for him and they'll recognize that as the power that they have over you. Number three, let's